Christmas and everything like that. I just wasn't well, feeling it at the time. Family time. So I'm here in the new year. Happy New Year's to everyone. So this is going to be how to talk. This is going to be how to talk like you're from Jamaica. How to speak Patwa. I'm gonna give y'all some tips on how some sh some words are set up and all that and yeah. So for the first one is going to be poppy sure. So this is like the mania poppy sure. So like that man is an idiot or that's some something something that you think is stupid like that's idiotic so you be like mm, poppy short like <laughs> ones are the cuss words so i know you guys might wanna you feel me and don't know the full meaning of some of these so i'm just gonna say it. the blood clot everyone knows that word jamaican or not most people use it but even know the full meaning of it but blood clot is basically it's a cuss word how the blood clot you all do me like that or do me like that, yeah. So, or how the blood clot you fit do me so? So basically, like how in the fuck you gonna do me like that? Like how you gonna do me like that? Like the the fuck. Another one is the pum pum turn up. That is it's tight. My pussy's tight. So my pum pum turn up. My pussy tight. If you have a close to me, like my friends, I always say, cock it up. Cock right up. Okay. <laughs> cock it up basically means, like, I'm going to use the dictionary verse of it. It's the, the sexual reference of doggy style position. Like, cock it up. So, it's like, put your ass up, like, like that, and... So you can say, she cocked it up on me last night. And that means like, you know, we had sex last night in a dirty style. Buddy, B-U-D-D-Y. That means your penis. Yeah, so. Making me like, Oh, the gal over there said something bloody last night. The girl over there, last night, she blowed me. She gave me top. Yeah. I don't want to say kiss me Ross. I mean, like, I kiss my fucking ass, bitch. KM, KMT, and kiss me teeth. It's like mostly in text line. KMT. Kiss me teeth is when you like. Like, cha, like, and cha means like, damn, like, fuck, like, cha. Like, you like, there's something over there, fool, fool. And this is like, that shit that, that what got happened, like, it's fucking foolish, like, it's just dumb. It's called fool, fool. And be like, like, you dirty, stinking gal. And most guys use this, or girls use this after, like, an argument. I'm like, like, you know what I'm you anyways, you're dirty, stinking, crusty, dusty, like, you know, dirty, stinking, yeah, basically, like, bitch, you stink. Rummage, actually, it's, um, it's an alcoholic, like, yo, you're a rummage, alcoholic, right? So, besides all the insults and the cuss words and all that other stuff, I'm gonna give you guys the greetings. Everybody, a common greeting is like, well, I'll go on. Everybody know what I mean. What's up? Let me get in depth with the greetings now. So say, say like good morning. It's spelled different, but it means the same thing. Good morning. 
um what you up to like what you, what's going on like what's up with you um how you still so he was like like how are you basically yeah hard how are you um when you be like why going you know and then you be like medea like i'm in here you know chilling for me <laughs> like or everything crisp like everything good like you know if um you see somebody or you know someone that's seen somebody you be like you be like oh yell up so and so for me you know oh go yell up so and so for me because we finna dip off so just be like oh go tell what's the name i said what's up you know since she coming through or he coming through just yeah yeah so everything is everything that means everything is going according to plan everything is going the way it's supposed to be going and there's no problems no complaints or nothing everything is going the way it's supposed to okay if you finna leave I'm like look more like see you later you feel me so you're like all right look more you see me and then you're like you finna dip off you see me means like i'll see you later like yeah bati boy yeah, well, most people know this means you know a faggot you're like you're gay but that nigga over there is gay he's a bati boy Okay, what they call Miss Ling, Miss Ling is basically somebody that's in Jamaica with an Asian descendant. Because Jamaicans are, you know, their motto is one of many people, or meant one of many. Because there's some that look Indian, there's some that look black, there's some that's white, there's some that's Asian, this race, this race, so forth and so on. Jamaicans could be any color. So don't just think that being Jamaican you have to be black. Or, you know, you're dark as hell. No, there's white Jamaicans that talk the same way. There's Chinese Jamaicans, which is one of what I, what I am. There's um, Korean Jamaicans, Japanese Jamaicans. And some of them don't even speak nothing of, of the language that they have come from. Sometimes they just speak straight Patois, straight Jamaican. That's, that's basically all they speak. So just because somebody's skin tone doesn't mean they're not Jamaican. And you don't have to be Jamaican to love the culture. I want to put that out there. Because I know some people be trying to point out or cuss out whoever and whoever because or saying that they want to them they want to be Jamaican so bad. It's not that they want to be Jamaican, they love the culture. False claiming is one thing. <laughs> and you know you know shouting out the country and everything like jamaican is a big thing we make we make most of the music most of the music that go around the whole caribbean is known from jamaica most of the dances that you guys dance and wind up yourself and so comes from jamaican jamaica and um yeah we're the known country that everyone knows false claim jamaican okay if you're if you're not jamaican right or you have some type of descendancy from being Jamaican, right? You're not Jamaican. That means you're born from this place that's in the U.S. And your descendants, like your grandmother or your mom or whatever, is from Jamaica. That's one or two other things. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, I'm born from California. But my descendant, my mom and my dad are Jamaican. My grandmother, you know she's Chinese she's Chinese but she's mixed she was raised in Jamaica that's how that goes so that's the reason why I have the descendants of both we speak it in our house so that's the reason why I know how to speak it and that's the reason why I know how to sound like it or know what some of these meanings mean because we sit in the household and both a bunch of my family will sit down and talk patwa that's just how it is and that's why I know some of this whatever like that if you're not Jamaican but you want to be Jamaican so bad this is one thing that make you known that you're not Jamaican. If so, if you say you're from Jamaica, right? There's different parts of Jamaica. There's not just Kingston, for people that do not know that. If you're saying that you're from Kingston, right? You gotta you have to claim which part of Kingston. Portmore, like where? You have to clarify where. So before you wanna false claim, you need to get your facts up on what other place you wanna so-called be from. You know what I mean? But there's Kingston, you know, and in a part of Kingston, there's town, uptown, downtown, you know, the Spanish town, there's country, there's all this other Watos, which is the hood, you know, there's different areas. You all have to know, you know, and it all depends on where you want to come from. 
and every Jamaican can tell every Jamaican where each one is from by the way they speak. You can tell a difference from a t real tone Jamaican from a country Jamaican because a country Jamaican they, they just sound more southern. I, <laughs> I don't know what the hell. They sound more yeah like I can't really explain it but they sound more ringy. I no offense but they sound different than town Jamaicans and where I'm from is from town Jamaicans um yeah there's a lot of different you know and the way they talk country people they they it sound like they long out words and stuff like that um so yeah back to this bad man now bad man is basically a gangster you know a hustler a bad man yeah only pop on the back of a hella ass picnic picnic yeah that's kids man look up picnic you know, little kids um called picky picky head picky picky head is what they call the rice grain <laughs> rice grain like this they have the little bead beads my nigga so they have beads like their hair is like naps like in you know, a ball like all over their hair called picky picky head yeah wine wine is okay wine is a it's a dance you know it's kind of like you know the indian like belly dancing but you know indians more focus on their stomach wine and it all have to do with your hips your waistline stable as in is your waist nice like you can whine most jamaicans all jamaicans you're not a real jamaican if you cannot whine whining is all they do so let's it's when you call somebody out it's a it's an insult word basically if you really strongly don't like that person you're like i'm damn pussy boy. like Pussy. Last but not least is broko. Broko means that you just start misbehaving. <laughs> so if you hear that thing like, oh broko, then go crazy. Oh, fuck it up, bitch. Fuck it up, fuck it up. Okay. And that was the how to speak like a Jamaican. If you need more, <laughs> let me know. I will help in my best of ways. Yeah, so. It is what it is, you know. Comment on link for me. I'm gonna be put out videos best that I can, you know. Dealing with school and all the shit. It's, it's trying to, it's tight trying to be a scholar and all, but I got it. So, if anything, comment on link.